Name the branch of biology involved in the study of insects. That is entomology. Study of cells. Cytology. <coughs> State two functions of a microscope. One is magnification and the other one is resolution, showing two close points are separate. Name the greatest uh, name the taxonomic unit with the greatest number of organisms, that is a kingdom, and the least number of organisms, species. State the organelles that perform the following functions, synthesis of proteins, ribosomes, transport of lipids, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, of course they transport lipids that are synthesized on their walls, formation of spindofibers, centrioles and they are normally present most in plant in animal cells define each of the following terminologies as used in biology ecology is a study of the organism and their environment anatomy is a study of internal structures of an organism what characteristics of living organism is being shown by the following a cat producing kittens that is reproduction a grill that's a girl dropping a hot pan that is response or irritability exhalation of carbon dioxide it could be excretion to get rid of waste and also gas exchange two of them the study the diagram below and answer the questions that follows so that is a cell that is being displayed there. And you are asked, is this observation under light or an electron microscope? Of course, it is under an electron microscope because it is showing us the details of the cell. Give a reason for your answer. It shows the detailed cell and the cell organelles. Is this an animal or a plant cell? It's an animal cell because it has a cell membrane. And absence of cell wall. So the reason is because there is no cell wall. Name part A and D. Part A represents um, the nuclear membrane, and then part D represents the nucleolus, which is part of the nucleus. State the function of each of the parts marked E and H. So part E is for transport of lipids synthesized on its wall. That, that means it's a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And part H is for making energy. Uh, yes, for tra for it's the powerhouse of the cell or energy production. An electron microscope has much a great has much greater resolving power than a light microscope explain the meaning of the term resolving power so that's the ability to see two close objects or two close points as separate give a reason why an electron microscope cannot be used to study live specimen it has very high magnification and very high resolution what is taxonomy taxonomy is a study of classification during a practical lesson, to estimate the size of a cell using the sketch below, with some st which some students observed, calculate the length of the cell in micrometer, and given the field of view, diameter is 8 millimeters. So cell length equals to the diameter of the field of view divided by the number of cells. So the diameter of field of view here is 8 millimeter. Num the number of cells, they are 8 so you get one millimeter one millimeter equals to 1000 micrometers how about 1000 uh so it is 1000 micrometer that's your answer what is meant by the term species it's the smallest group of organisms that give rise to a viable offspring uh, you are given an apparatus there you are supposed to name it it's a bait trap and it is used to catch small animals for example rats
blackjack or bidden spilosa belongs to family composite. What is its genus? The genus is bidden. Species is pilosa. Differentiate between hemolysis and crenation. Hemolysis is the bursting of the animal cell when placed in a hypotonic solution. Uh, crenation is the shrinking of an animal cell when placed in a concentrated solution. The diagram below shows the structure of a light microscope. Study it and answer the questions that follow. So you are supposed to name part A to part E. Part A is the eyepiece lens. B is the cost adjustment knob. D is the objective lens. E is the condenser. State the function of part C and E. Part C is the fine adjustment knob. It's used to allow the viewing of fine details. And then cons uh, part E, which is the condenser, it concentrates right before allowing it to pass through the specimen. While trying to observe the specimen under a microscope, a student failed to see the field of view. Suggest two possible causes of this. Maybe there was no light or the objective lens were blocked. A light microscope had eyepiece lens of times 25 and objective lens of times 40. What would would be the total magnification? So of course, it's times 25 times 40, giving you times 1,000. Give a reason why each of the following steps are followed when preparing sections of leaf for examination under a microscope. Cutting very thin sections, that is to allow light to pass through, using a sharp razor blade to avoid damaging the cells. Placing the sections in water it is to avoid them from drying up, which may distort the cells. Staining the cells, it is to improve clarity or to make it clear for you to see. Then the student set up an apparatus as shown below. So that's gross solution, distilled water at the beginning. And then at the end of the, at the 30th minute, you find that the the solution is full. So what happened? So you are being you are told to name the physiological process that resulted in the observation after 30 minutes. The physiological process there is osmosis. State the importance of the physiological process investigated one. It helps in absorption of water and mineral salts. Explain the observation made after 30 minutes. So the water molecules moved from a region of high concentration, that is in the distilled water, to a region of low concentration in the sucrose solution by osmosis and therefore increasing the amount of sucrose. State the role of light microscope in the, of light in the process of photosynthesis. So it is responsible for splitting of water molecules into oxygen atoms and hydrogen atoms. Name the two end products of the dark reactions in photosynthesis, of course, glucose and oxygen. Study the reaction below and answer the questions that follow. You have glucose plus uh, fructose gives you sucrose plus water. What biological processes are represented by A and B? A is condensation. And then B is hydrolysis. When you add water, it will go back to fruct uh, to to fructose and glucose. Identify the product Y, sucrose and water. Type of bond represented by X that is a peptide bond. Study the diagram below and answer the questions that follow. Identify the organelle above. This is a chloroplast. Function of the organelle, it is to trap light for photosynthesis. Name the parts labeled A, B, C, and D. A is granum, B is stroma, D is the outer membrane. Uh, where does carbon dioxide fixation take place? Stroma. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.